just, it was just a meeting. Action News cameras rolling as Detroit City Council President Charles Pugh left a meeting with Governor Snyder and Treasurer Andy Dillon at the state's offices here in the New Center area. And not long after President Pugh left, Councilman Kenneth Cockrell Jr. also arrived for a similar closed door meeting to talk about what to many seems inevitable for Detroit the appointment of an emergency financial manager. Can you talk to me? No, I can't. They did not want to comment, but Monday afternoon, Action News also spotted Councilman Andre Spivey and James Tate coming and going from what appeared to be separate meetings with Treasurer Andy Dillon. All of the councilmen we saw arrived and left separately. And an insider tells Action News that Treasurer that Dillon do, uh, sent invitations to all was, members of Detroit City Council, uh, and those that, that went were expected to meet separately because of either being, scheduling uh, conflicts or to prevent Treasurer any potential conflict saying, with the with Open the Meetings Act. A spokesperson for the governor says today's meetings are part of his ongoing effort to partner with city officials, and we could find out what was said behind closed doors when city council meets as a whole tomorrow morning. In the News Center area, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.